Okay, let me let me get your take on on this uh, central bank digital currency. You've pledged to block a potential central bank yeah. digital currency. Is that about surveillance? It's very dangerous. It's very dangerous. Uh, one day you don't have any money in your account. It can be a very dangerous thing. And the other thing that I think is maybe the most dangerous thing out there of anything, because there's no real solution. The AI, as they call it, it is so scary. I saw somebody ripping me off the other day where they had me making a speech about their product. I said, I oh, never wow. endorse that product. And I'm telling you, you can't even tell the difference. It looks like I'm actually That's endorsing That's very scary. I, I agree. No, because That's you very can scary. get that into wars and you yeah. can get that into other things. Something has to be done about this, and it has to be done fast. And nobody really knows what to do. The technology is so good and it's so powerful that what you say at an interview with you almost doesn't matter anymore. They can, they can change things around and nobody can tell the difference. Even experts can't tell the difference. This is a tremendous problem in terms of security. This is a problem that they better get working on right now. And that is the morning buzz. President Trump sitting down with me, giving me his thoughts on the current state of artificial intelligence. The entire interview is running on Sunday, on Sunday Morning Futures. We are bringing you clips this morning, and this one is about the potential for a digital currency. Cheryl, President Trump was very clear. I mean, it is scary what AI is doing in terms of just lifting voices and lifting images. I wonder if that will translate into efforts to legislate, efforts to get your arms around AI. Right. Well, well, I mean, we've talked a lot about the fact that we need more information and more research done on AI, in particular when it comes to children, the sexual exploitation of, say, teenagers. We've seen, remember that story in New Jersey where those high school girls, these were fake images of these young girls. I mean, things like that are happening. It's a very serious problem. Also, I'm glad you asked them about digital currency because, you know, what the Fed's proposing here is those are going to be digital tokens that the banks are going to run, like you know, these wallets are going to be managed at a very high level coming from the Fed. And that I don't I don't see I, I don't like, think I like the idea of that much power being given to the Fed in particular when it comes to digital dollars. And I'm glad that he's not really a fan of that. I think it's a little it's scary road. Uh, it, again, big brother, Rebecca. Right. I mean, you've got a, a digital currency from the central bank. Uh, it obviously is also including surveillance. Yeah, I'm so glad you said Big Brother because you know the uh, the AI fake. You know Joe Rogan had a podcast last year. It was a deep fake, and no one he said he couldn't tell it was fake, wow. and they had to put all kinds of disclaimers on it. And it reminds me of 1984 Ministry of Truth because if you start to get a situation where there is no ability to tell the difference, you're going to have to have some kind of verification of yes, this is the actual person. Where does that lead to? Digital ID. Digital ID has to come before digital currency because mm -hmm. obviously we can't have digital currency if we can't verify digitally who these people are. Yeah. So it all is leading to a controlled matrix. And uh, I think we need to have Americans wake up and realize that is China's currency.